Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode on Mighty Model Shop Creations. Today, we, I will be showing you my final result from my 1960 DeSoto Adventure by Johan. Without further ado, let's roll the intro. Okay, so, before we get started, I just want to show you this cool display case that I got off of Amazon. Or sorry, not the not, not display case, display turntable. Comes with five different um five different colors of display plus a mirror option, which we will be using in this video. I'm not sure the price, but I'll put it in the description. But yeah, it has a couple different speeds and you can adjust the angle, you can go back and forth, or just rotate around forever. Um, alright, so let's get to the main part. My DeSoto. Are you guys ready? Here it is. The BAM. The 1960 DeSoto Adventure by Johan. I personally love how this thing turned out, and I hope you guys love it too. And I think this will make a beautiful shelf display for anywhere in this house. So what I did, actually, I, I got really lucky with this kit because this kit was originally a glue bomb that we bought off eBay. It was completely built up, unpainted, not, like, properly assembled, or it was built a long time ago, it looked like. And I took it all apart, resprayed everything, reassembled everything, and bam, look at that. I think I took one picture of it when it was all disassembled, uh, I'll pop it in right now. And so cool things about this kit. So we got the taillights right there. I had to chrome it with a chrome marker because I looked at pictures of the real car and it was like that in real life. Um, over here, if we turn around to this, we got the little... Uh, turn signals. I black washed the grill as well. And the logo on the adventurer. The event, sorry, the adventurer logo. I did that with uh, chrome pen, which I'm super happy with how that came out. And I got super lucky because this, the, I'm pretty sure the kit came with an extra, extra tree. And on that tree was the, this thing right there rear view mirror or side view mirror sorry it also came with a rear view mirror and an uh radio antenna right there i did a three-tone interior which i'm super proud of um i think it looks great i also polished the glass because before it was kind of yellowed and dirty and scratched up i just did that with a dremel tool with burr um so I think what you guys should do if you're planning to build build the Johan kit is to try to find built up uh, kits from like just plain built up kits, glue bombs, because you can save money with that. Like this kit, we got it for way cheaper than we thought it would be. And you don't have to buy sealed kits either. If you just look at the pictures and it's all there, then like save yourself a good 200 bucks right so it's always it's always good to uh, buy built-up kits but yeah also uh stay tuned because we got some ebay orders coming up like just mail calls we got some other built-up johan kits that need to be rebuilt just like this one and uh, i think that's it for today's video um Make sure to like and subscribe. Turn on the post notifications so don't miss an up so you don't miss an upload from me. And comment down below if you want to see um, those other built-up Johan kits that we're going to be rebuilding. <clears throat> and uh, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.